Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Precious, and here's her story. Hi, Ollie. It's Precious again. I have another recording. Listening to your commentary and reading the comments really helped me heal in some ways. It was mostly the laughter that helped me. Let me give you some background. So in this recording, Jose is mad at me because he didn't think I was getting over my hurt feelings fast enough. The reason for my hurt feelings was because the day before he walked off and left me and left me at the train station. The reason he walked off was because I was talking about my feelings. He said, and I quote, you're a tough girl. You're not supposed to have so many feelings, so you should stop feeling. What does that even mean? So while all this is going on, he and I and a group of our friends are all fasting and he gave up on his fast, so he was jealous that I continued mine. That's why in this recording I sound funny sometimes. I get heartburn during a fast. In the beginning, I thought the issues we were having could be talked through, but after a while, I learned he could not be reasoned with. To be honest, sometimes I wonder how I even ended up in the narc trap. I think that's something all survivors wonder. We are not weak people. The narcs just don't fight fair. I often joke that I wish he would have just hit me and then I would have known we were fighting and reacted accordingly. I was completely blindsided. Thank you, Ollie. So here we go. And if you don't like preaching more, then we can't talk on the phone, but we can text. You know? But I'm preaching about myself. I'm not preaching to you. I'm not at all. I'm preaching to myself, I'm preaching about myself, I'm preaching how I feel about this. I'm not talking about you, I'm not going to put you feeling in it, because it's not, I'm not, I don't feel what you feel, and I'm not you, and I'm not going to conclude myself in you, because I'm not you. I'm me, and I know who I am, and I, don't, I know my, I know myself. All right, this is, this is hood logic here. I mean, this is just nothing but hood fast talking about about his his philosophy of what he it's nonsense it's nonsense he picked this up from his mother you know so whatever you have to say about me i will take in consideration but i know myself all right i'm not going to sit here and listen to you not understand what you do i can't i'm not going to sit there make you feel like isolated and alone. So I just you. This is not all about you. It's not all about all person just wants me to stay because she wants me to stay strong. But I'm not here. When I'm here, I can't talk. I'm not and I know myself. We are all different. So if you like to talk with somebody when you're here, go ahead and that's not the person. I'm not that person. Just understand. I'm not you. I never tried to make you As I recorded you. every single thing that you did, you would see what you know. I hopefully you would see what you do. I said exactly everything I do. And then I said, after what I said that, I said, I know I could. I know I don't listen to you. I, I can't hear you. You gotta talk into the mic. I know I don't listen to you sometimes. I know I'm hard at it. I can say every single thing I do. I never heard once that you did anything wrong in any kind of argument. I told you this the last time, Precious. You dating a you dating his mother. This is this is a. And it takes two. To, it takes take time to get 
to argue. It doesn't take one. A man can't argue with his dang self. No one, that's impossible. Unless you're crazy. You're talking to a demon or something, you know? You can't argue with yourself. It takes two to forget that. You're very selfish in that way, you know? You can't see what you do, man. And I'm like, yo, come on, dog. How are you not seeing what you do? I'm trying to talk, and you say I'm talking too much. So when I let you talk, and you ask me a question, I'm talking, and you say I talk too much. And then you never let up to talk, and you did talk, and you told me to talk. To oh, my God. He and just don't I, shut. Dude, dude, he just don't shut up. And obviously, he said you, you've told him he talks too much, and then he just keeps talking, 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 talking. Holy shit. This chick is crazy. Said, you know what? That's this, but no, forget this. I'm just going to keep on talking. Because nothing I'm doing is helping. So, and then if I'm at that guy, I'm going to walk away because I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. You know? I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. My best, the best coping is going for me. You know? I'm not going to do what you want me to do with that moment. I'm not going to speak. Why do you keep saying that I wanted you to do something? I never wanted anything from you. This is all projection in in this chick's crazy head. The chick, I mean, the boyfriend, who's basically his mother. Okay? All of this. This is all paranoia shit he has planned out in his head being being projected at her in the craziest way possible. It doesn't even make sense. But your time. Wait, 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 Yes, please explain it. I don't want to keep making the same mistake. We're not having it again. Next time you talk, we talk about the Lord and that thing. Yeah, but you can't name one thing that I do. No, I can't. If you could, I can't. If you could, why won't you? If there's things, if it takes, I just named what you just did, but you did not. And what is that? That I told you to stay with me? You're focusing on talking. Let's go out. Because I just told you. Just one thing, literally, one thing you just did. Well, what, that I told you to sit and stay with me? No, that you don't understand other people's spaces. That's one thing you have, you have trouble with. To forget about others' spaces. Other spaces. Your personal space. I'm in your space personal of, space. No, you're not understanding. Stop generalizing. This is the way I mean it. I mean, when I have my, my personal space in my in my. The way I feel about my personal space, me, it's not like everybody else. My personal space is when I need my personal space to go chill out. When I need to do my coping skills, you want me to be near you. You want me to talk to you. I can't talk when I'm agitated. Everybody can't do it like you do. You know? I'm different. Don't try to keep me there. Don't try to say, oh, they come on, talk to me. They you want to say something about me. You want to say something smart. That's right there takes two to argue. Right there get the draw. Because you kill two you add it and fight and fight with fire. You know, I try not to, but I do and I know I do and I fix them for what I did. I know I fight fire or fire. In general life statement, I know I fight fire or fire. But I try not to and I try to keep my mouth shut. And that's why I walk away because I need that space. So fight fire with fire. That's so exactly what you do wrong. Out of our whole relationship, name something that I did. I just other did. than I, I to keep you. you. Other than you I try to me. keep you. Other than I try no, to keep you. Not, you're, not, you're just acting. You're so general. It's like I can't talk to you. You're so general that I can't talk to you. You're just saying the hair when I just told you. Can I finish my sentence, you. please? You, tell me what I said because I know it's mean whatever, whatever, whatever. No, what I was asking is. You said I was doing stuff. Out of the whole, 
relationship, right? God just told me not to waste my breath on something that's not going to help it. I know. You you and never you never want to waste your breath on me. You spend too much time trying to prove to other people. This chick has been wasting seven minutes and seven seconds on a phone call and, and hasn't said anything. Again, it's just accusations. And then when you ask, ask them to back them up, they can. It's all vagueness. It's all vague accusations. And then when you ask them to, to back it up, they can not. Well, how good you are. So you see that that's where you go. You that's the end of this conversation. You're trying to make me feel that way. I'm trying to make you not feel much worse anyway. That small little remark, I don't care. It came out one hand, one after the other. Oh my god, God, you've done to me. You don't have to tell me, okay, yeah, you don't care. Because you spent so much time with other people. That's what it is. No, and that's not what it is. Is he fake crying? Is she doing the fake cry again? Didn't she do this on the last phone call? Precious. You're dating his mother. You're not dating a man. You're dating an emotional woman. You're trying to argue rationale. You can't you, you can't do it here. It's jealousy without even knowing. It's, just, it's, it's not, 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 This is where this all started. It's gonna take a long time. No, it could take no. It could take no. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. See, now you're putting words in my mouth. That's not even what I said. No, no. I was telling. I was saying what I was saying. I never said you said that. I was so. I never said you said that. Don't don't tell me I'm not saying it. No, I never said that. You're very difficult to talk to. Yeah, you too. I'm really. All he does is filibuster. This is what the narcissist does. They continue to talk over you and filibuster the conversation. Because in their mind, if they can prevent you from saying it, then they don't have to deal with it. It's not true. It doesn't matter what they're saying. This, this chick is so afraid of any truth, of dealing with any reality just keeps talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and it's it's to emotionally wear you down to the point where you just give up that's why Pepe had to just come running in here I should listen to these beforehand but because I would have started it with Pepe but I think just having Pepe jump in makes it all the more better they try to speak with it takes two people. It doesn't it because you're people. talking and I'm um, it takes two people trying to talk but you're just talking. You have never had a relationship. What that's why you don't know how to handle one. And that's what it is, huh? Yes it is. It's well, that's a part that's a part of it. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I'm not a stupid observer. But you can't that's my natural gift is I'm an observant person. <laughs> Every time I observe, most time I'm right. Mm -hmm. Because God has blessed me with that. And what did you it's observe of me? That wasn't right. Yeah, what was the observation here that God that God gave you these talents for? That you do not respect others in that in that kind of way when it's time in that kind of setting. I don't respect others. Talk. You over here talking over me. Mm -hmm. Talking over me. Mm -hmm. And you don't respect me. And you're not even talking to me. You don't respect me. And you're not even talking to me. And you don't respect 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 me. You pick something, this is how it feels, because I hear it. You pick mind. something out of what I said, and then take that one thing and forget about everything I said. Just focus on that one thing. If you hear a, a smart one, or a, a disrespectful comment, or a thing that you take that your way, whatever you feel about it, you'll start going on that topic. Well, we're not on that dang topic. You know, like, now it's not just me changing the topic, it's me. If you see that, you would see, you, you would understand that you can't even tell the truth to your day yourself. That's why I can't talk to you. 
That's why I said you, you have qualities like my mother. I just said you like my mother right now. Oh, wow. So he's now, you see, there it is. He just compared you to his mother. And I'm telling you, he's acting like his mother. Do you understand? Like that should just confirm to you right there. He's trying to, I told you, I told you. A lot of people do that. They can't just think you're all dead. Only you know what? You know what? I'm not comparing you to my mother. First of all, I'm comparing you. He to just did though. He just did. People have in my family, not just my mother, not just the people. I, you know, everybody has come across. I told you this guy has issues with his mother and his family. This is it. This is it. And now he's faced with it. Do you believe in my family? Most of the that's the reason why. That's what I can remember. Most of my family. Yeah, my brother. That's where I'm going to try to figure my brother. Let me tell you something. He is so emotional. That's why he can't even talk into a phone. He doesn't even realize where his phone is. That's why you have to keep telling him to talk into the mic. Because he is so self-absorbed and narcissistic and into just spouting and sad. He doesn't even realize he's not talking into the phone properly. Like, who doesn't know how to use a phone in 2017, a cell phone in 2017? I'm a pathological liar, too, or just your well, brother? I, I just, no. See how you, you see how you heard that? He's the pathological liar. I'm not turning around, liar. okay? Okay. So his mother's a pathological liar. He's trying to say you're a pathological, which would mean... He's the pathological liar telling this webble. That's what all the over-talking is about, okay? If you're not talking, you can't catch him in these lies. He's forming the narrative. As long as his lips are moving and he's keeping you from talking, he's controlling the narrative. I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question. I'm not turning anything around. Now, he's not mad at you anymore. Well, thank you. And a question. It's like a, this is like a conversation that's not going to go anywhere. It's like it's it hasn't gone anywhere in 10 minutes you know, and 54 but, seconds. I see what I do, and I'm testing up, and I'm letting you tell you. So you have no reason to say, I did not tell you what I did, because I said exactly everything I did. You don't do that to me now. But I'm just trying to let you know. Let me talk about what i got to get off my chest first. And then I'll let you talk about what you got to get off your chest. Now it's too late. Because now it's all over. And now you fell asleep. And now, now you can't tell me I ain't. Because the way you're talking is, I know, I know that part of you. When you try to tell me, and you get heated up when you're talking, I know when you're asking. I'm not stupid. It doesn't take a stupid like a, you know, a person that mentally challenged to see it. You know? I'm a, I'm a human being. I'm not meant to be challenged. I'm not, I'm, I don't have that, you know? So I can see that. I have great observance. I'm a, I have great discernment. I'm thank God for it, you know? God is blessing me that. You keep telling me I don't. But I observe you. And if you're in denial about it, go ahead and be undeniable. God said, speak the truth. To your brothers and sisters, and I will. And I spoke the truth to my dang self. And I let my dang self know I'm wrong. But you can't do that, can you? Because every single time you come and say, you don't do it. I've never heard a time that you said, I did something wrong and I'm dressing up for it. No. No. You never. Well, a few times, but that was even like, this wasn't a conversation. We couldn't have to have a conversation. We had it was like, you know, like things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. Can he talk into the mic? Just sit and cut me off and say, let me finish. You don't want to even want to let me finish. You want to say whatever you want. <laughs> so go ahead and say something. Whatever you have to say, tell me. You don't get off the top of just tell me what you had to say. Don't, don't say, oh yeah, you don't have to tell me what you have to say. Oh, this chick is the best. I love you. I do. Don't tell I me love that. You. I love 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 you. I
I just I like honestly for a long time I imagine myself spending my life with you. I really do. For a long time. Having having children with you. Loving you. When you old. You never wanna listen, bro. Yeah. I listen to you the whole time you listen to me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I can't say how what I wanna say because you don't like it. No, I no, yeah, that's it, Precious. Congratulations. You figured it out. Okay. It's not all about you. It's not that it's it's all about you. It's only about me, Precious. It's only about me. And that's that's the gist of him. That's the gist of this chick and his mom and their pathological lies. Okay? It isn't all about you, but it is only about me. Is really what it is with this guy and what it's been going what you've been going through. Come on. It's all about you. You keep calling me out of my name, and I don't rap in the selfish You know what? You keep calling me selfish. I don't like that. Really? Okay, then I respect you after calling you again. How about that one? See how I said that? That's not what I'm saying. See how I messed up? I expect you to do the same thing. What you said? We're grown ups. We're grown ups. We're not kids anymore, right? I think you're calling me selfish from there. You know, that's how I feel. I'm going to call you that. That's how I feel. I'm telling you how I feel. But you know what? I'm not going to call you that. Go ahead and finish. Okay, man, you know, I'm, I'm not a little kid. Yeah, I'm, I can't tell you to shut up when you're going to tell me to shut up. I didn't tell you I'm to shut up. When did I tell you to shut up? I'm not saying that. I'm generalizing. Now, see how you assume? You don't even know what assumption is. Do you I don't know what assumption is? Yeah. Okay, now you're, <laughs> now you're questioning my knowledge. Oh, and that's the end of the call. Well, that was fun. Look, it's like I told you in the last one, Precious. This, you're dating is, you were dating his mother. This is, this is a woman in a man's body. And he said it right there with the comparisons to his mother. I knew his mother dynamic was going to come in here when he compared you to her. This, he's got mommy issues to work out. Okay. Because this is, as, as, you, as you labeled it in the file, crazy dude. Crazy dude with mommy issues. This chick, as I called him in the last, in the last video. It's, it's unbelievable. It's not, it's not that it's all about you. It's that it's only about him. So I hope he's far, far away. Thank you again for another contribution and recording, Precious. I really appreciate it. I hope this helped and you like it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comments section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype, email, private phone call, Facebook chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video for someone else, or just contribute to the channel, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. If you're unclear, wait for the final instructional video to pop up in the link on this video. Please like and share this video wherever you can. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. This is Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care, everyone.